This question gives me the standard cell potential for this reaction, and then it asks me to uh, calculate the value of delta G. Now, there's an equation that I gave you elsewhere that says that delta G uh, for any of these processes, when you're talking about in terms of electrochemical potential, is equal to negative N multiplied by F multiplied by E, where N is the number of moles of electrons that are being exchanged, oxidation and reduction. F is Faraday's constant, and E is the electro, uh, electrochemical potential, which is given to us. So um, <clears throat> let's see if we can split this thing apart to determine what's being oxidized, what's being reduced. So I've got lead turning magically into, sorry, electrochemically into lead 2 plus. That's one step. I've got two H pluses being converted into H2. I've got a 2 plus charge here on the right side. I've got a zero charge on the left. In order to make that work, I've got to add two electrons here to the right side. So negative 2 plus a positive 2 equals 0 on the right. That charge balances out. And then also what's happening is lead is going from having a zero charge or oxidation number to having a 2 plus charge. It's becoming more positive by losing electrons. It spits out these two, two electrons. If you become more positive by losing electrons, that is oxidation. So this is my oxidation step. Now separately, you can see bounce wise or charge wise, I've got zero charge on this H2. I've got two uh, pl or positive two charge on the left side of the equation. To bounce that out, I need to add two electrons to the left side of the equation. You can see the hydrogen's going from have a, having a positive one oxidation number to having a zero oxidation number. You go from positive to being zero. You're doing so by becoming less positive or more negative. You do that by uh, accepting electrons. So when I gain electrons, this is reduction. So I'll go ahead and write down reduction there. So this hydrogen or H plus is being reduced. So what you can see in net that's happening is lead is being oxidized by spitting out two electrons and then those two electrons are received by H plus to reduce it to become H2. So this is a two electron process and uh, these two electrons actually balance out very beautifully. If they didn't balance out I'd have to multiply both the top and the bottom by something to get them to match. Once again we can see nicely two electron process so the total number of molar equivalents of uh, electrons is going to be 2. That's what N is. That is 2. So that's what the, the purpose of this whole magical journey was. Faraday's constant is equal to uh, negative, or sorry, uh, sorry 96,485 joules per volt mole, or coulombs per mole, same diff. And then uh, the electron potential in this problem is given to me, and that number happens to be positive 0.126 volts. You'll notice that I've got uh, two moles, and I, I, I should write down the units here, two moles, that cancels out with moles in the basement over here, the volts here cancel out with volts there. If you multiply all that stuff through, you'll be left with a final answer in joules, which is going to be the delta G for this process.